All right, today on this enclosed trailer, we're gonna install part number 23-105. This is a 12-inch electric brake assembly for left-hand side of a trailer rated at 6,000 pounds from Dexter. Everything shown in this video will also apply to part number 23-106. This is the same type of brake assembly, but for the right-hand side. Now, this is the traditional uh, brake assembly that you're probably used to seeing. It has a, a small oval magnet on the bottom. Our new one, has, looks a little bit different, but it bolts on the same and wires up the same just as original. And you can see it's labeled for the left hand side. You can see the five nuts on the pre existing studs on the axle with the same dimension and number here. So let's go down to our next axle where we have our brake assembly already removed. You can see how where everything's gone. We can go ahead and take our new part and slide it into place. Now when you install it, you want to make sure that your magnet's always facing towards the ground. After you take off the nuts for original brake assembly, it's a good idea to go ahead and discut your wires. Basically what you want to do is just cut them, but still leave a little lead left over so you have a fresh end to work with. So let's go ahead and put our new brake assembly in place. And we can go ahead and reinstall the original nuts and lock washers. Okay, we'll follow our hardware starter. We'll go ahead and run them down and then hand tighten them. Okay, in just a matter of a few moments, we got a whole new brake assembly installed. New magnets and new uh, pads and springs. It's a lot quicker this way than buying pieces individually and putting them on your old backing plate. Now, there are a variety of ways of making our wire connections. But in this case, we'll be using part number DW05744-10. This is the DECA heat shrink buck connector for 16 and 14 gauge wires. Just like any other buck connector, we'll go ahead and strip the wires back. Twist our wires. And then add our buck connector. Now when we connect the wires, we don't have to worry about polarity because magnets don't have a polarity. Just wanna make sure that one of these wires eventually goes to ground and the other wire eventually it goes to your hot lead and your output from your brake controller. All right, we, made, we got our connections made. We'll go ahead and use a heat gun to seal them up. Now instead of a heat gun, you can get by with a lighter. Once we allow them to cool, you can go ahead and tape them up or secure them any way that you'd like. Now, we got, our wheels, we got our wheel and our hub already installed. All we're going to do is adjust the brakes. Using a brake tool, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and tighten up the adjuster until you really can't spin the wheel. Okay, then typically you want to back it off one click at a time, about 10 clicks. Then give it a spin, and you should have a very light drag. If you don't, in this case, like in this case here, you probably want to tighten up just a little bit more, but that gets you pretty close. There it is right there. And there you have it for part number 23-105.